Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4 and I'm going to show you how easy it is to root your handset but before we get into it, I just want to point out that neither myself, Samsung or Google take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong during this process or if you totally brick your device and with that being said, this will void any warranty that you've got on your handset and I'll just show you what I'm running before we get into it so go to menu, settings, more and then about device and you can see there the model number there is GTI9505 Android version is Jellybean 4.2.2 and the baseband version is ending in MDM incidentally the motor chopper method of routing your device doesn't work with the MDM baseband versions so this is going to be using Odin so what we'll do links will be in the description of what you need so you're going to need to download Odin and the CF root file as I say links will be in the description so what you need to do before you turn off your device is go to menu settings more make sure developer options is there if it's not go to about device and tap on the build number about seven times until it says developer mode has been enabled and then when you go back here it should be there once it's there tap into it just make sure it's enabled from the top right and OK the message there and then halfway down you'll see an option for USB debugging make sure there's a tick next to that and hit OK now there we go so what we now need to do is turn the phone off we're just gonna power it off there and then once it turns off we'll go into download mode which is home button power button and the volume down button simultaneously until the device switches on and that will get us into download mode so here we go three two one go here we go we're in download mode I'm gonna just press volume up to continue because that's just a warning there and there we go it says downloading do not turn off target and as you'll see if I bring the phone in a little bit closer there this device hasn't yet been rooted because it says Samsung official as you can see there so now we're good to go we can plug in the handset to the computer once on your computer if you get a little speech bubble in the bottom right of the screen just stating that it's installing the drivers let it go ahead and finish before you do anything else and incidentally if your computer doesn't recognize the fact that your phone's connected at all I recommend that you try a different USB cable maybe a different port uh, a USB port on the back of the computer maybe if that fails remove all the Samsung drivers on the machine and download and install them freshly from the Samsung website I'll try and leave a link in the description to those drivers as well once you've got the drivers installed and the phone is being picked up by your computer you need to download the CF auto root file again as I say link will be in the description down below and this does void the warranty so I'm gonna double click it should open up with the WinZip here and I'm going to do a one click on zip so it extracts everything and then displays it and just to keep it a little bit clean on the screen I'm going to drag the file here that's just extracted so this is the file that we initially downloaded it's been extracted into this one so I double click that opens up this window here now take note you'll have two types of files in here you'll have the .tar.md5 file that's the core of the system that we're going to need that's a file that we're going to flash and the other one's Odin so I'm going to right click on Odin run as administrator that displays the Odin window here incidentally if you don't get the yellow symbol there that means your device is not being picked up by Odin so as I say remove the cable try a different cable a different port or and the drivers until you get a yellow communication single there so next up go to PDA as you can see here click on the PDA there and navigate to the file that we've just extracted remember that .tar.md file I was saying so there it is hit open and it automatically puts a path in there now do not touch any of the other settings within here and hit start and then it should start downloading the firmware to the device as you can see just let it do its thing it's finished Odin and it says a green pass so we're done on the computer we'll let the phone reboot and let it do its thing so it's done its thing and it's rebooting again again we'll just be patient let it do its thing again there we go so it's gone into a lock screen here so I'm going to swipe to go in and we don't need the cable anymore so we'll just unplug it and you can see it's already connected up to my Wi-Fi and there's an update already there so oh it's already updated the super user application that it's just installed so let's see if there's any mention of any binaries that need to be 
updated because sometimes they need to be updated before you can do anything and I can't see any options there at all nope so it must be okay so what we'll do as you can see my icons are still where I left them none of the data has been lost and if I go here everything's still grouped the way it was what we'll now do is go to the Play Store download a root checker application and it's a free one doesn't cost anything at all uh, ooh, so we'll just hit open there looks like I've already got it installed so verify root access and it, yes there we go so it says uh, we'll grant it access bam as easy as that verify root access congratulations this device has root access so that's how easily you can root your Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone now as I say this is a Qualcomm quad core version the GT i9 505 and the motor chopper version of the root doesn't work on this because this had the MDM firmware so if I just come out of this and I show you menu settings more about device and you can see baseband version ending in MDM the motor chopper way of routing the Galaxy S4 doesn't work with this for whatever reason but the method that I've just shown you works absolutely fine as I say it does void the warranty though but you don't lose any data at all and you have full root access on your handset any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and like what you saw if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's also down there as well doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time